In this lesson, we are going to talk about analyzing cluster nodes. So Kubernetes cluster nodes run Linux processes. And to monitor these processes, generic Linux rules apply. A pretty important command is systemctl status kubelet. That will give you runtime information about the kubelet. Use log files in slash var slash log as well as journal CTL output uh, to get access uh, to the logs if you need more information. Generic node information is obtained through kubectl describe. Uh, so you can use kubectl describe uh, on your node to get more information about it. If the metric server is installed, you can use kubectl top nodes to get more information about CPU and memory usage. Check lesson 7.1 for more details about setting up the metric server. Let's go analyze some nodes. So I'm on the, on the node right now. I'm on the control node. Uh, this is something that you can do on any node. So if the worker, uh, worker node is giving you a problem, you can go to the worker node. But hey, uh, let's start from the beginning and let's, let's use kubectl get nodes. where we can see the current status of the different nodes that are involved. And you know what? Let's uh, fake a problem, sudo systemctl stop kubelet. I'm stopping the kubelet. And next, I'm using uh, kubectl get nodes again. And oh, it takes a moment for kubectl to pick it up. Uh, it takes a while to pick it up. Uh, so let's investigate on worker one what is happening uh, using sudo systemctl status kubelet. And what do we see? We see it's inactive, dead, since 17 seconds ago. So uh, repeat my point, it just takes a while to pick it up. As you can see, worker one is in a state of not ready. So can we use kubectl describe on the node worker one at this point? Uh, as you can see, uh, we can. So even if the node is in a state of not ready, uh, which is clearly confirmed right here, we still can get information about worker one from uh, Kubernetes. And in this information, we'll find a lot of stuff that is, uh, that is useful. So what is it? Uh, well, you can see uh, current taints and whether or not it's unschedulable. We can see the different conditions like memory pressure or disk pressure or PID pressure indicating whether or not the node is running out of resources. Uh, we can see right here on the top hardware information and uh, a list of all the different pods that are running on the node. Uh, but most important is the events right now, where we can see that the node worker one status is now uh, not ready. Now, uh, kubectl status has just revealed why that is the case. That's because somebody has stopped the kubelet. Now, what are you going to do if that uh, happens again? Well, uh, just start it, and then it should pop up as being ready in not too much time. All right, what else can we do on specific nodes? Well, uh, sudo ls minus lrt on var log. The var log directory on uh, Linux is still used as the most important environment for logs. And if you want to see if any recent logs have been written, uh, use sudo uh, ls minus lrt. The minus lrt option uh, is displaying the logs in such a way that the most recently written to log file is listed last. Uh, you can see that some interesting logs are available here, like Calico, for instance. That's a Calico plugin uh, that has its own log file on, uh, on the node in question. Uh, modern logging on Linux happens through journal CTL. So let's do a sudo journal CTL to get information out of the node. Use uppercase G to go all the way down, and there you can see uh, what has been happening on your nodes. So I can see some run container, the run C Kubernetes processes deactivated successfully. Okay, uh, you see arrow keys if the line is wrapped and you can't see the entire line. Now in journal CTL, it's also possible to get information about specific services. So that would be sudo journal CTL uh, minus u kubelet. And this is giving information just about the kubelet. The kubelet is one of the most important processes running on any node in the cluster. So if there's anything that you would like to investigate from a Linux point of view, uh, kubelet is where you would go to. 
The advantage of uh, getting this information from the journal is that you get much more information from the from the journal than when you use a sudo system CTL status on the Qplet. Status on the Qplet is only giving the last couple of lines that have been logged for the Qplet. So for complete information, journal CTL might be worth investigating.